Cinderella story. Once upon a time, there was a kind girl named Cinderella. All of the animals loved her, especially two mice named Gus and Jack. They do anything for the girl they called Cinderella. Cinderella lived with her stepmother and her two stepsisters, Anastasia and Drizella. They were very mean to Cinderella, making her work all day, cleaning, sewing and cooking. She tried her best to make them happy. Cinderella's stepmother, Lady Demain, was cold, cruel and jealous of Cinderella's charm and beauty. She enjoyed giving Cinderella extra chores to do, such as bossing her cat, Lucifer. One day a messenger arrived with a special invitation. There was going to be a royal ball of the palace. The king wanted his son to find a bride. Every young woman in the kingdom was invited, including Cinderella. Cinderella was very excited about the ball. In the attic, she found a dress that had belonged to her mother. It was a bit old-fashioned. But Cinderella could make it beautiful. Lady Timae didn't want Cinderella to go to the ball. She wanted the prince to meet Anastasia and Drizella. Maybe her word marry one of them. Lady Timae kept Cinderella busy with chores that would take her all night to finish. While Cinderella was working, the mice and birds fixed her dress. They added ribbons and beads that her two stepsister had sewed away. Working south, the animals turned the simple dress into a fabulous gown. Cinderella was every joy when she saw the dress. Now she called go to the ball. Oh, thank you so much, Cinderella said to Gus, Jack and the birds. When the stepsisters saw the old ribbons and beads of Cinderella's dress, they flew into a rage. They repeat the dress and pulled all the beads. Lady Timane didn't stop them. Cinderella's dreams of going to the ball was too. Cinderella ran away to the garden to cry. Suddenly, her fiery godmother appeared. With a way of her wand, she turned a pumpkin into an elegant coach. Cinderella called now go to the ball. But her dress was still running. Bibbity bobbity boo, said the fiery good mother, whiting her wand again. Cinderella was now wearing a beautiful gown and sprinkles girls glass slippers. But all of crime with such worrying where the cold a stark midnight the mega spell wounds were off. All the ball Prince Charming couldn't take his ears off Cinderella. The orchestra played and the prince began to dance with the wonderful girl who name he still didn't know. For Cinderella the night was a dream be true. Before too long, the clock began to strike midnight. Goodbye, Cinderella said, hurrying away. Come back, called the prince. I don't even know your name. 
a Cinderella flat of one of the hair glass slappers come off. The prince sends the gun deck to find the girl who fit the glass slipper. Let it remain looking Cinderella in the attic. But Cinderella's most friends freed her. Then Lady T. May tripped the grand dog and the glass slipper shorty, but Cinderella had the other in the pocket and then freed. Cinderella and the prince were soon married. Everyone rejoiced, including Cinderella's most friends, who wore special outfits to the wedding. Filled with joy, Prince Charming and Cinderella lived happily ever after. The end.